Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Gnome here. Today we're checking out Breaches the Blast Maker. The really weird thing about Breaches is that you need to have stuff to make artifacts or play a bunch of artifacts, and then you have to play things you want to copy. So you don't really want too many high cost things, but you don't really want too many low cost things because you'll end up just getting ran over even in the late game because you don't have anything crazy to copy. So it's a real fine balance that you have to find. And this isn't a deck I could just slap together in about 20 minutes. This really took me some time. What I do love about Breaches is that he's pretty low cost himself. So you sometimes don't even have to wait till the next turn to get his ability. You really want a lot of low cost stuff in the deck, and then you want your high powered stuff to be something that's really impactful. Something like Shrewd Negotiation, Exchange Control, Target Artifact you control, and Target Artifact or Creature you don't control, Raw's Expertise where we can return things and then cast something for free. So you can technically cast this first with Breaches out and get that 4 mana or less spell for free if that's what you wanted to do. Confiscation Coup, we can steal their creature if it's four mana or less time warp of course invoke the winds we can just completely control one of their creatures or artifacts and then in the six mana or more we have commit rivers rebuke storm of Sauron. this goes absolutely crazy caldera breaker is great because not only is it an artifact but it, it ramps us a ton so this is just great if you can get it out thought monitor and day through time so these are things that are going to be really impactful if you can copy them they're going to be great but even if you don't if you get that tails side you can do that damage to any target that's what's really great about breaches too is that even if you fail to flip to copy you can do that damage and maybe kill one of their big creatures or kill them off if you really need to the hardest part about the deck is trying to plan carefully around what you're gonna do because breaches can die pretty easily because it doesn't have war or anything and so it's really fragile i would say so you just gotta be aware of that and just play your cards right let me know what you guys think down in the comments this is a really fun one one of my favorite decks from outlaws of thunder junction so i'm pretty happy with it i'm gonna keep tweaking it over the next few weeks so we'll see how it turns out without further ado let's get right into it and let's see how the deck does shall we all right we go first we're against laughing jasper flint and if we had red i'd really like to keep this hand but we don't have red Actually, no, this hand wouldn't be that good, even if we had red. That's mulligan. This is a lot better. Let's see what we can do. Spiteful Hex Mage enters the battlefield. Create a cursed roll token attached to target creature you control. Oh, it's only because it's a war. It's a uh, outlaw. Okay, that's right. Um, let's just pass the turn. We'll play Demand Answers at the end step. Tossing, what do we want to toss? Do you want to toss Goldspan Dragon? I don't think it's worth it to toss Goldspan. Cyclonic Rift, I don't know if it's worth it to keep the dive down since we're up against Black Red. You probably have a lot of removal. Slick sequence. I think I gotta do that one. All right, perfect. Perfect. That's for told. And then they're gonna play uh, Jasper. We'll bounce him with the uh, Cyclonic Rift, or maybe even the Odawara if we if we get a land here. Sparbluff Canal. Oh, I can't bounce him with that. Do I care about it that much? I do. I could just wait till next turn though. That'll, that'll be at least buy me. That'll buy me, uh. That'll buy me at least one turn. I can also play Breaches and then play Cyclonic Rift. If I can copy it. I don't, I don't have a I don't have any artifacts, so I can't copy it. Maybe Goldspan's the way to go next turn. That's five damage. Roaming Throne. That's hilarious. Okay. I'm bouncing the I'm bouncing the Jasper right now.
Nice. Alright, we gotta play the Odawar. We gotta get our gotta get our lands. And how about we do this? We play Goldspin here. We get some tokens. And we're gonna try to play Breaches next turn now that we have a treasure to sacrifice. Rogue. No, he doesn't have any rogues, so I guess he's just gonna try to kill us with damage now at this point. We're at 11. Hmm, what do we want to do? I kind of don't want to swing with Goldspan since we're up against Lethal next turn. I kind of need to play out the. Uh, kind of, I kind of need to play out the. Uh, my creatures. Um, I swing with gold span. I get four mana and treasure, but I don't want to really use that treasure since so that's my only way to copy something. Play time warp. We don't really have anything that's gonna help us here. I think I swing. We play breaches for free. And then we play time warp. Try to sacrifice one of the tokens. Then we can kill Jasper if we get the uh, backside of the flip. Or we just take two turns. That's fine with me too. All right. Yeah, we'll pass the turn with that. Key to the archive for free? Why not? We'll cast this with our mana. Cast key to the archive for free. Sacrifice in the treasure here. Oh, we get two keys. How do you know? What do you what do you know? Uh let's go with the D Spark. Get rid of that. Oh, another time warp. What do you know? You get rid of the D spark. Okay, I think we win. <laughs> that's that's a game. I think. Dive down for free. And time warp. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think opponent was getting out of that one. GG's. All right, we go first. We're up against Glissa, the Sunslayer. Not a bad hand. Not necessarily a great hand by any stretch. Um, Let's save the Mishra Bubble for later, just in case we want to uh, cast a spell for for free. Not free if we want to copy a spell, sorry. Can I get... Discard a card. Let's discard the... Galvanic Iteration since we can flash it back. There we go. There's some land. You know what? Let's go ahead and foretell this. We'll call it a day there. I don't know why he's saying nice. I don't know if he's... I don't know if he's trolling or what, but... Alright, let's play... Let's play... Our commander. Let's play Mindstone. Two damage to them. And I'm gonna play Mox Amber. Just in case Mystic Reflection, we can maybe I don't know. Maybe if we needed it. No, we're not gonna block. We 
We can play Caldera Breaker next turn. If they don't get rid of our commander. Oh, I don't have an I don't have uh, anything to target with Mystic Reflection. So our commander is bye bye. Sad. Sadness ensues. Alright, we got the fetch land. We got the fetch land. Let's go get our steam vents. One, two, three. Yeah, because we need to get a land to play Caldera Breaker. Die. <laughs> Gonna have to exile that. It's not like there's not exile effects in green black though, so it's not the end of the world. Oh thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. Can't tell if this guy's troll or not. <laughs> His name is Thulium69, so he's gotta be a troller for real life. Alright, let's get our other fetch land. Oh, that's right. Whoops. <laughs> I got all the all the, got all the mountains up the called air breaker. <laughs> that's actually hilarious. Uh what do I wanna do? What do I wanna do? Not really much I can do. So Let's go ahead and swing the opponent here. I don't think he's going to block, is he? No, he is going to block because the, the Glissa has first strike. Wait, what? Okay. I guess we'll play our commander then. Caldera Breaker. Uh, I kind of wanted to get the get the mana. I mean, uh, get the flip side of the coin. All right, let's see what you're working with. Okay, presumed dead. Chrome host seed shark. That's what we got. All right, they're gonna surveil. They keep it on top. Obviously, we're not blocking. All right, we gotta do something with all this mana we got now. Something's gotta give here. Binding? Does it really matter if you destroy our commander at this point? We have so much mana now. I guess. We'll be commanded to the command zone. We shall. I think I'm going to sacrifice Demetrius Bauble. Uh, yeah, we kind of need to draw some cards. That's best nightmare. All right. Volcanic Geyser does X damage to any target. Oh, we kind of might use that now. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I can copy that and kill our opponent. No. Uh, if I play Breaches, that's 7 mana. 1, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. X would equal 8, so I would only do 8. I'd have to wait. Unless I Galvanic Iteration. It'd be like 5 still. I could still kill Glissa. Not too thrilled about it. 
But let's just do let's just do it. Unless I wait till next turn. That's that could be a thing. Unless I wait. Um Yeah, we can sack the mox. Let's sack the mox. We get two we get two crime novelists. Which gives us two red mana every time we sack a artifact. So that's pretty good. And now we have something to target with the Mystic Reflection. If they play a big baddie. And then we can finish them off next turn with the Volcanic Geyser. Um, I wanted to do it this turn, but I don't think I had enough mana. Even if I copied it like three times. So would, Volcanic Geyser would be like five if I copied it three times. So it would be like five times three would be enough. Uh, we'll do this. Alright, what you gonna do, Glissa? Glizzy. Opponent's gonna be dead next turn if he keeps breaches alive. Blood on the snow. I respect that. I could sacrifice the Mind Stone. Yeah, I might as well. I kind of need the... I, I kind of need the card draw. Okay. Oh, of course. Oh, I guess I could have cast Mystic Reflection naming Crime Novelist so that they wouldn't get it back. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Galvanic Iteration plus Volcanic Geyser is 20 damage. Did I screw up by sacking the Mind Stone? Maybe I did. Maybe I did. Alright, um... Yeah, I think, you know what, we'll just do this. Protect the satchel. And then let's do this. We can draw a card off these. I actually should have waited since I get to make Thopters with this every turn. That gives us, that gives us a, uh, Artifact. I just want to one shot them. I don't really. I don't really care for uh, hitting them with everything. I have the, I have the one shot in hand. Once I do it anyway, so. Let's block. Seven mana. She Oldred. Oh great! They can freaking. They can gain life. They draw cards. All right. Lose two life. All right, I think I can win. 10, 12, 13, no. 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Galvanic iteration plus two from the Volcanic Geyser goes down to 13. 13 plus 13 is 26. Unless they have a way to gain some life here. Uh, we win. X is 13. Is that going to be it? Don't you draw more than two cards. Don't you do it. Oh, permanents. GG's, my friend. GG's. We got there. Volcanic Geyser. 
Sometimes uh, your other cards will help you out and not just your commander. We're up against Marchesa, Dealer of Death. Whenever you commit a crime, you may pay one. If you do, look at the top two cards of your library, put one of them into your hand and the other into your graveyard. Isn't that just what Grixis wants to do, is commit crimes? Um, I guess we can keep this. I don't feel too confident about keeping it, though. Not against Grixis. Whenever I'm playing, like, a creature-reliant deck, like, where my commander is a creature, I don't feel too confident going up against Grixis. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to keep the Rivers of Beagle on top. That, we, that way we'll have double... Double Assurance with Rivers Rebuke and Cyclonic Rift. Play the Guardian Idol. Alright, not playing your commander there, I see, buddy. We'll pass turn two. No, we're not in a rush. Glittering Stockpile. Alright, let's discard a card. Uh, I'll discard the River Dubuque. Even though I just said I wanted to keep it. <laughs> ah, just get rid of it. Alright, Command Tower. Um, uh, We can wait one more turn. Got a feeling they might have, uh, Mana Drain themselves. Ooh, I want to mana drain that. Let's do it. They probably have it themselves, but... They, if they mana drain our mana drain, then they only get two mana. Bind to secrecy, okay. Well, that at least... That at least, uh... Gets rid of one counter spell. Oh, they put back the wash away. Good. Must have some good stuff in their hand. They're putting that back. Man, I don't feel too comfortable putting out my breaches there. Let's play. Let's play. Yeah, let's play our commander. Screw it. Chromehost Seed Shark. Get rid of the Guardian Idol. How about two Chromehost Seed Sharks? That sounds great to me. Alright, we're about to get crime put on us. Rhystic study. Demonic tutor. Oh, that's what they got from the damn key to the archive. Are they gonna demonic tutor for something for three mana? They could, and they they really don't have to, though, though honestly. Um, Alright, let's play our war as a land. Mox Amber. We will pay the one. Commit. Throw you back. Pay the one. Sacrifice this one with no power toughness. Actually, I'm gonna kill that. Yeah, get dead. I kind of feel like I wasted a spell. Oh well, it, it is what it is. I I didn't know I was gonna land a flip on tails. I was kind of hoping I landed on heads. The the thing is, you gotta get rid of Marchesa because they get the value. They just keep getting value from Marchesa, so you kind of want to get rid of the Marchesa because they can just keep refilling their hand off that. So I kind of don't feel bad getting rid of Marchesa, but it's just what it is. Oh, they got something big here. 
They're copying something that they're gonna play here. Torment of Hellfire. X is six. Lose three life, lose three life, lose three life, lose three life. That's four, five, six. Alright, sacrifice down my permanent. One, two, three. Uh, four, five, six. How you like that, buddy? All right, we will pay the one. And I'm just gonna do this. Pay the one there. Sacrifice the incubator token. Oh, look at that. First stick study. Is that a good game for us or a good game for you? Opponent. He might have like a lightning bolt or something. Chandra, oh. That's a good game for us. Burn Phyrexia to ash. Or a good game for them, I should say. Let's target us. Ugh. Lucky. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Maybe, you know, maybe I shouldn't have uh, paid all that life for Torment of Hellfire. All right, CGB or Amy the Amazonian must have made an Atrata deck recently because I have never seen this many Atratas in my life. This is a really good hand. Let's keep it. Thundering Falls first. And it's a land, which is exactly what I was looking for. All right. We're not going to ramp out. If they play Atrata, then we can Mana Drain it. Ruthless Ripper. Um, nope, I'm just going to hold back. I'm just going to hold back. If they play a try to mana draining it. Gonna boost us big time for next turn. If they don't, I can always just root Prismari Command. Alright, yep, that's what we're gonna do. Let's see. Create a treasure, destroy artifact. Get rid of the Trailblazer's boots. Play that. We'll play out the Iron Crag. Pass turn. I think if we mana drain them, we'll, we're gonna. They might scoop here. Ooh, thought distortion. <laughs> How fitting, huh? Well, we we, we lose. Uh, <sighs> we lose eyes for told in mana drain. <laughs> How fitting. Uh, we can't counter it, but what the heck. That's why I love playing... Uh... Oh, I still get the mana for that. I did not know that. Well, that's good to know for you guys that didn't know that. I sure as hell didn't. Wow. Um, I didn't know that I got the mana for that. It's a good thing I played mana during then. So even even if the spell can't be can't be countered, you still get the mana for that. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. All right, let's play this on blue. Uh, unexpected windfall. Let's see what we get. Very nice. Very nice. Um, they're not gonna block, so I guess we'll just swing. Oh, 
great Romy throne. It is good. Gold span dragon. These are war two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, if I played Goldspan first, I think I might have enough mana. Don't swing with that. Now I play Brawl's Expertise. Send that back, send that back. Can I send back my own stuff? Oh yeah, but it's Ward, right? So no, let's not do that. War 2? I will pay the War 2. Um, no. Counterspell? No, they don't have a Counterspell. Well, they gotta remove two Flyers. Master Drill's not gonna do anything. GG's. GG's.